Although it's mostly hydrogen gas, the Sun makes up 99.8% of our solar system's entire mass. And this creates enormous internal forces. The mass of the Sun is so large that the force of gravity at the centre causes pressure that's so high that it can fuse hydrogen. And when this hydrogen is fusing, it releases energy. But this can also release electrons. And these charged particles are then free within the gas of the Sun. And this is what we call a plasma. This plasma continuously escapes the sun in a relatively harmless stream called the solar wind. But a storm is a sudden burst of these energised particles and is far more destructive. The key to its creation is the way plasma moves inside the sun. The plasma is a charged gas. And when these charges move, they create a current, which can create a magnetic field. And this magnetic field is deep inside the sun. We don't know how it gets to the surface. And it rises in these loops, and these loops penetrate the surface, and we see these sunspots. There are beautiful arcs that extend up into the atmosphere. Now, if the dynamics of the magnetic field at the surface cause the magnetic field in the atmosphere to touch, this can cause a process called magnetic reconnection. And this results in huge explosions of energy, such as solar flares, which can be observed as a bright flash of light. These flares don't always affect us here on Earth, but can go hand in hand with the much more damaging burst of charged particles in a solar storm. Scientists call them coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. Even more explosive are coronal mass ejections, and these happen higher up in the atmosphere and are really quite large in terms of the size of the sun and can release huge amounts of energy, including energetic particles and the magnetic field itself. 